Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy, A G S A K A Static Shock. Welcome back to no- another. Yes, yes, yes. I said it. I said it, and I meant it. Welcome back to another episode of For Life Means the Podcast, a podcast of encouragement, perspective, and life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very excited to be back, man. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't have too much to say, but let's go ahead and get started with a little hey, it's Today I got me some coffee. Haven't had coffee in the podcast in a bit. At least I don't think so. So, yeah, I got me some coffee freshly made. And freshly good. Ooh, that is some good stuff. But yeah, man, welcome back to another episode of the podcast, bro. So excited to be back. Um, I Like I said, I just want to get into it today. I just want to get into it. Uh, but before I go, please... Please, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, whatever you're listening to this from or watching it, please do whatever you can to support this podcast. You can easily support by liking, by commenting, by sharing, by subscribing, by doing all these things, visiting the website, buying some merch, you know, sharing with your friends. You can support in so many ways and it helps just to bring more life to people. Uh, If you just, you know, you know, especially like sharing, sharing helps a whole bunch. Word of mouth, word of mouth is tough. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Let's just go ahead and cut to the music. Okay, cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, so like you know, I usually give like a little backstory to what I'm talking about, and so this is the the little backstory for this for this episode is actually pretty short. I randomly had this thought. So what happened was I I re- I I remembered that like Christians a lot of times Christians we we like to point out certain sins and we don't like to point out. We, we like to say we like to point out certain sins that other people are committing that they're delving into to, into that they're practicing but we don't we don't really talk we don't really talk that deeply or that passionate about or that or that uh, rebukish uh, when it's regarding our own sin and so I had this thought like you know uh, we're, we're supposed to hate sin you know we, we say this phrase uh, love the person, hate the sin. Maybe it's maybe it's the other way around. Hate the sin, but love the person. And that's that's a great phrase. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything about that phrase. It's a great phrase because yes, we should be hating sin. We we should be sin should be a distaste in our mouth. It should be a repugnant. Is that a word? A repugnant smell. It should be something that's like that. We should almost feel like allergic to um we have to hate sin because when we hate sin that's when we start that's when we start uh rising that's when we 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 start to get more righteous we start to be like more like god who is perfect you know sin sin is what causes imperfectness and so whenever we're whenever we're um you know, not delving into sin, not practicing sin, um, whenever we're hating sin, like when it's just, ugh, ugh, I can't believe I did that. Lord, forgive me. I repent. Let me turn back from that. When we start hating sin like that, then we start becoming more like God. And that's, isn't that like our ultimate goal is to become like God? Yes, our ultimate goal is like, you know, we have that, that end point. We want to get to heaven, of course. But the way that we get into heaven the way, and the way that we get, you know, the store of those riches is by becoming more like Christ. That is this whole thing with Christianity is that we're becoming like Christ. We, we Because Jesus gave his life for us, we want to live for him. That's tough. We want to live for him. And so you have to hate sin. You, it has to be disgusting. It has to be disgusting to you. Whoa, I just went into this whole thing. <laughs> that was <laughs> that backstory was a little bit longer than I than I was planning. But um, but again, I had this random thought 
and I tweeted it. I tweeted it the other day. I said, what I said was, let me find it in my notes. You have to hate sin. You have to hate your own sin before you start hating others, others people, other people's sins. And so what that means is, I, I had this thought again that we like to point out other people's sins, but not do so much of that work, not do so much of that work of us becoming more like Christ. Sure, we may think in our in our minds that we're becoming like Christ because we're saying blah blah blah. You're doing this. You're doing that. Blah blah blah. You shouldn't be doing that. But are you doing that? Are you doing that to yourself? That is very important. Are you doing that? Are you doing? Are you doing that to yourself? Because you have to do it to yourself. If you're gonna hate that sin in that other person, go ahead and go ahead and hate that sin that's in you too. Get over yourself, bro. And that's what this episode is about: getting over yourself. You know, we we like to we like to like we like to go outward instead of looking inward. <laughs> that sounds like I said inward. But we like to look outward instead of looking inward. But we have to understand that that biggest, the biggest mountain that we have in this life is not other people. It's not what other people are doing. It's not what other people are saying. It's not what other people, how they live. That has nothing to do with you. The biggest hill, the biggest mountain that you're going to go over is yourself, is yourself. And so that's why you have to get, bro, get over yourself, bro. Get over yourself. Uh, a few days ago on Tuesday, uh, my mom led the led the Bible study, and she was talking about pride, and she was listing out all these ways that pride show up in our lives. And so, oftentimes, we think of pride being just like you know, this person thinks he's so good, he thinks he's better than everybody else. But a lot of times, it's actually it's actually other it's actually other things. The Bible says pride the pride is the root of all evil, or it says something like that. Basically, pride is the root of evil. Um, because because whenever you what happens whenever you sin, you're saying God, this sin is actually better than you. This sin is actually going to do much more for me than you're going to do for me, and that's pride. That's pride. See, we don't like to talk about that kind of pride. Everyone has some kind of struggle with pride. It may not look like, you know, your friends. It may not look like your your parents. It may not look like your, you know, whoever else. But some, everybody has some, some sort of pride in their heart because that's where sin comes from. Thinking that this thing that God is not is 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 way less than what this thing I want to delve into, than this thing that I want to practice. And so you have to get over yourself. That mountain of self, that is a hard mountain to get over. That path to righteousness, that is a difficult, a narrow path. That is a narrow path. That is a path where you're going to feel claustrophobic. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel like like there's no like you're you're gonna have hope. There's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel, but it's gonna be hard to get there. It's hard to get there. No one said, no one said that this Christian life is going to be easy. There's going to be trials. There's going to be tribulations. You're going to have struggles. But the point of that is to is to first of all create a dependency on Jesus, to create a dependency on on God the Father, create a dependency on the Holy Spirit. That is what that that those trials they are helping you to become more dependent on your on your on your on the Trinity, on the divine Trinity, on the on on the on the big three, on the big three. But that again, that mountain of yourself, getting over yourself, getting over that thought that I can do whatever I want and whatever I want is the best choice. Whatever I decide is the best choice. That is a hard mountain to get over. You know, your life, your life is a it is a result of your actions. If you're seeing certain things in your life, if you're seeing certain things in your life, you see certain things that are maybe not going your way, or maybe you, you have these thoughts, or maybe you're delving into these things, and and all of a sudden you see you're you're going, you reap what you sow. That basically what that means is you reap what you sow. And so we ought to start, we ought to start uh, uh, sowing righteousness. We ought to start sowing righteousness. Because with righteousness comes 
first of all, with righteousness, righteousness comes righteousness, but there also comes grace. There also comes a lot of repentance. And with, with that repentance, it, it brings you closer to God. It, it, it brings you to more righteousness. And that's what we want, bro. We want to be more like Jesus. That's At least that's what I want. I want to be more like Jesus. I want every single day, I want to become more like Jesus. And I don't want to backtrack. I do not. <laughs> I do not want to backtrack, bro. I do not want to backtrack. And so, again, your life is a result of your actions. You know, there's this, <laughs> you know, you're going to be in these situations where you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a, you're going to have to make it a, a move or somewhere down the line, you're going to have to make an excuse. Make moves or make excuses. Shout out Andy Minio for that one. Shout out Andy Minio for that one. But, at, you know, you're going to either have to make a move, make that right move, or make an excuse, not a reason. A reason is justified. An excuse is not justified. You're going to have to make a move or make an excuse. And we don't want excuses. No excuses. Shout out to my boy, no excuses. I see you, brother. Out here getting it. Okay, so you have to hate, start hating your own sin before you start hating others and watch you grow. Watch you grow into more righteousness. It is a beautiful life when you're really walking with God, when you're really walking through Christ, when you're really walking towards, towards the things that God has for you because there is so much purpose. There is so much purpose in being in being righteous and being in being like God, bro. Like is it, and I know you felt you felt when you've you've really been in the Holy Spirit and you were like, ah, oh, I could stay in this place forever. I could I love this place. This is this is a vibe. This is a vibe. And then you know the next day maybe you're not you know you're not you're not there. You know you backtrack a little bit. You don't you don't really talk to Jesus like that. You know get over yourself, bro. You know where you want to be. You know where you should be. Go over there. Go over there. And so I I hope I I look if you are this is this is an example of reaping what you're sowing. If you're if you are consistently getting angry or getting annoyed or getting sad or blah 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 what what do you think you are sowing? That is making, that is reaping depression, that is reaping anxiety, that is reaping uh, anger, that is reaping, um, that is reaping getting annoyed, that is reaping uh, quote unquote failure. What are you sowing that is reaping those things? You know, the Bible says if you reap what you sow. So you can sow good things and that's what we want. We can sow good things and, and, and reap good things. But you will not, you will not sow a good thing and reap a bad thing because that's not how it works. That's not how it works. If you sow a good thing, you're going to reap a good thing. If you sow a bad thing, you're going to sow a bad thing. And the two are not interchangeable. The four are not interchangeable. You are going to reap what you sow. So understand what you're weeping. If you see something that that you could that could easily set you off. Think about <clears throat> think about having grace on that situation or on that person. And then God will God will have more grace with you. He will give you more grace. He will give you more mercy. He will give you that patience that you need. He'll give you that patience that you need. He'll give you that that little nugget of of patience, that little nugget of grace for that person. He'll give you that and 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 in the end, what it'll do, it'll it'll bring you peace. And it'll bring you peace because you realize, oh, this is what Jesus had to do. And because Jesus had to do this and I just did it right now, I am I am becoming more like him. And that is you're sowing, you're sowing that goodness, you're sowing patience and you're going to reap great benefits. It's just it's, it's literally like it's literally just math. It's literally just simple math. You reap what you sow and that's boom, bop. You're going to reap what you sow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is... Look, man, that is all that I wanted to say. I really hope that this encouraged you just to... 
to get over yourself. <laughs> you know, we all have to do it. Whenever you came, whenever you came to Jesus Christ, you realize that this life that I was living, not good, not cool, not chill. And you you realize you had to turn around, you had to turn back from that life, get over yourself, get over the the way that you've been feeling, and give your life to Christ. Give your life, give your life. To, to Jesus Christ to become your Lord and Savior. And so in this Christian life, when you first enter that Christian life, you have to get over yourself. But there is a constant, there is a constant getting over yourself. It is constant because there's always, there's always going to be something. We know we're, we're not, we can't be perfect. You know, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. Um, and so there's always going to be there's always going to be an opportunity to become more like Jesus Christ. And I, I urge you and I urge myself, I'm talking to myself. I urge you, I urge us to continue to, uh, to think about our actions, to think about those actions that we are sowing and think about whether it is worth it to become, to become more like Jesus or to become unlike Jesus. Taking the time to realize maybe maybe this thing is better than what I really want to do. Maybe this, maybe, maybe doing what Jesus did, maybe turning, turning my uh turning my my cheek is better than than <laughs> you know getting these hands on them. You know, it might it might be better, you know? And so I just I, I hope this has encouraged you to just uh to get over yourself, you know, realize that your actions are are sowing whatever you know your actions are sowing things is always going to sow something so yeah thank you for tuning into this episode again please share that's the most that's the greatest thing you can do for this podcast is share uh get this to people's ears to people's faces it really helps the podcast like it really helps the podcast and also what i would like i would very much like you for it to you to you know like comment subscribe it'd be it'd be wonderful but thank you so much for tuning into this episode i love you all um and also check out my new song my new song keep the pace it's fire summer banger uh yeah that's about all peace out